Hello, it's David from David Sabre Electrical. Once again I'm outdoors in the uh, windy October weather. Uh, this time installing some outdoor lighting, but I've got a, a bit of a top tip for uh, how to make uh, some of the uh, outdoor lighting you might install a little safer than the manufacturer intended. This is what's going in today. It's a Saxby Bollard lamp and uh, it's going on the edge of this patio here. I've uh, already started post greeting it uh, into place. Um, now the interesting thing about this lamp and many others that are made for use outdoors is that they are 230 volts. I don't know if you can see that sticker there so it's expecting an 11 watt energy saving lamp as a maximum but uh, that is indeed 230 volts that's supposed to be in there so stick your finger in and bzz, you're going to get zapped. Personally I don't like running 230 volts around a garden anywhere um, where I don't have to. Obviously it's best to run armoured cabling especially for that cabling to be buried, marked um, at a depth where it's not going to get interfered with by a trowel or spade. In this occasion the cable run is going around the, um, the flower bed here so there's a good chance that it could get damaged uh, if, if there's any digging or weeding going on later on. And although obviously I should be making sure that it's properly protected by making sure it's RCD protected, uh, I still don't want uh, it to cause any trouble in the house with nuisance tripping or anything like that. And obviously that can happen if the cable's damaged, if water gets into the light, I don't know how, uh, how well this light will withstand the water over the years. Um, and uh, It's best, in my opinion, to have 12 volt garden lighting using salve as a protective measure uh, than to uh, have uh, earthed. Uh, 2 to 8 volt lighting like we've got here. If we have a, a quick look at the underside of the Saxby lamp you can see it is a class 1 device. We do have a, an earth lug there and we have a connector block here where your live and neutral uh, and your earth would go in and as you can see what I've got is my, my rubber outdoor flex is going through some um, flex conduit back to the, uh, the power point which is going to be over, over that way somewhere. Uh, however uh, I've made a bit of a modification of this because instead of a uh, live and neutral going to it, we have 12 volts positive and negative. Now how on earth am I going to run an ES lamp from 12 volt positive and negative? I hear you scream. Well, I'm going to use one of these, which is a presentation converter available from the likes of Amazon, which is indeed where I got this from. It's important to note that this is simply a presentation converter, as I say, it does not have any electronics inside, it will not convert voltages. So although we have a 230 volt E27 uh, cap on one end, and we have an MR16 style fitting on the other, if you were to plug a 12 volt uh, lamp into there and then screw that into a mains connection, then you can expect it to explode with spectacular results. However, on this occasion, we are indeed going to screw this into place in our Saxby lamp and it is no longer a 230 volt Edison screw lamp, it is now a 12 volt uh, MR16 or MR11 lamp and indeed I've got one of these Philips um, G4 12 volt lamps here which I'm simply going to effectively plug into place. Now this is uh, this particular bollard is only for accent lighting, it doesn't have to be too bright uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the light sensor that controls it with a plastic bag. Sorry for the bobby camera work and sorry for the wind noise as well, it's very breezy today. And hopefully after a minute of being obscured with the bag, this should switch on. Indeed it does. And if I put the cover on and try not to knock it over because I haven't actually fitted it to the ground yet. The wind is trying its best, and there we have a very nice, nicely illuminated accent light. There she goes, she switches off again. So it doesn't matter if water gets into this, it's not going to trip the RCD. There's no chance of the metalwork ever becoming live because even if the um, one of the feed cables to the metal work, although it's not earth, it's not going to cause problems because it's only 12 volts DC. Uh, same as your car battery, so uh, that's not going to cause anybody uh, any uh, issues. Um, it's important to note as well that although I'm using a 
ES2 MR16 style presentation converter. There are all manners of these things out there. Um, so you can convert to all sorts of different kind of lamps. Um, you can convert from Edison screw to bayonet cap, from small Edison screw to the uh, E27 type uh, larger Edison screw. Obviously those are still 230 volt uh, formats. Um, but for this sort of work where you want a 12 volt conversion, then this works out much better. Obviously at the other end of the DC cable we're going to need an LED driver to convert the 230 volts coming in down to 12 volts DC to drive our uh, 12 volts uh, MR11 or G4 or whatever type lamp. Um, and that's what we've got here. You can see it's a, uh, a self transformer which is going to sit inside this IP box and uh, hopefully the water will stay away from it uh, if the IP box rating of the box is maintained. And then that's, um, that will give us our low voltage output uh, over to the bollard across the other side of the patio so that even if water gets into it or um, it gets damaged or someone starts kicking lumps out of it there's no chance of it causing anything to trip and no chance of anybody getting a shock.